Thank you for tuning into part two of conditioning these new boots. Um, you can see that there's a marked difference between the two. When you oil any leather, it's going to be darker. Um, and over time, it will lighten up. But initially, more than likely, it's going to be much darker. So now I'm applying this Garrison Grease. And the difference between the two is the Garrison Gold is a deep penetrator. Um, and the first part, you saw that I'm rubbing and rubbing, and I used a fair amount of it. Um, here, I'm not going to use as much this tends to stay on the surface a little more and it tends to seal the oil in better um, if you use just straight oil um, water and air it tends to extract the oil out so you need something to kind of keep it into the leather a little better so a conditioner um, is kind of a day-to-day -day use thing and oil is something to uh, really prime the leather, uh, get the moisture in it that, that it's going to need in the long haul. I would say that I would use an oil maybe once a year, maybe twice a year if it's a heavy work boot, and condition uh, maybe two weeks to every month in general. And once again, you see that I'm hitting every single surface. Um, you try to make sure that... Uh, nothing gets left out and and again I'm using the gloves using the heat of my hand to help penetrate it you'll see that it's a lot slicker looking um, it doesn't seem like it goes into the leather near as much as the gold where I was rubbing and rubbing and could use many many coats you just don't need as much here um, and like I said you could skip this step but I have had better results um, if I know I'm going to use a boot really hard uh, using all the products. One way to kind of look at it is at the beginning, uh, you're trying to put a bunch of moisture in the boot. Um, you're trying to get a highly mo moisturized, and then you're moving over towards outer protection and sealing the boot. At the last step, when we use the guard, um, that's going to protect it from uh, from the elements and make sure that the oil stays in as much as possible. Now I'm using a brush once again uh, to heat it up to try to drive it into the leather a little more and to get all those nooks and crannies uh, covered. You know, it's not rocket scientists. It's just basically covering the whole thing, making sure that you get as much penetration. The leather will kind of let you know uh, when it's saturated. You can feel it to the touch that it's um, it, it's very different than when it originally came out of the box. When it comes out of the box, it's it's dry, um, and I, I think once you go through this process, you'll realize how much healthier the boot is. Um, by taking, you know, just a few minutes and making sure that the leather gets the oils back that it, you know, I mean, basically has a nature. Leather skin and all skin has sebaceous oils. This is just a non-rancifying form of that. And along those lines, um, when people buy boots, uh, there's a lot of discussion about uh, making sure that the booth is going to be waterproof. Leather boots aren't going to be waterproof. The best you can hope for is for them to be water resistant. Um, just the nature of the stitching and just the nature of the pores of the leather, water is going to get in there if you uh, keep it submerged long enough. If you need to keep your foot dry, you need to get uh, rubber, a duck boot, but leather boots are never really appropriate to be waterproofed and some people mistakenly will look for silicon based um, uh, water repellents and that's really not good for the leather because leather needs to breathe and it cannot breathe if it's a synthetic um, uh, uh, form such as that the guard here is all natural waxes and uh, I prefer waxes. In fact, when you look at polishing shoes, it's just a pigmented wax. Same basic concept. This is heavy dutier. It's not designed, you know, to make, make it look uh, formal or pretty. This is a, a heavier, thicker wax. And one thing I might add is, as you see how I'm 
putting this on, um, I learned this later. A, a good thing to do is get a hair dryer and heat the wax up a little bit. Um, the application will be a lot smoother. This wax is a very hard wax. It's it's a very um, protective wax, and so being that it's so hard, it's it's a little difficult to put on. So if you have a heat gun or a hair dryer. Um, and even get it into a more liquefied state. It's just transferring the wax benefits from the jar into the boot. So I highly recommend um, getting a hair dryer and getting a little pool of wax and then putting it on. It would have been a lot easier. I, I actually made this video some time ago um, and have learned my lesson through experience that, that that's much better. But as you see here, you see that there's kind of a sheen and a gloss um, that you find in, in dress boots because wax has a certain shine to it. Um, and as we go along, I, I have a technique that I use that's unconventional uh, of using a motorized buffer for shoes um, that uh, will get it to a, a higher shine. Um it, it's just a way to once again heat it up and and get its nooks and crannies but i like a little bit of a sheen to the boot anyway so um that's what i do and as you see i'm i'm getting in between where the stitching is that's where the water is going to come in first that's where you want to make sure you apply most of the waxes and the stitching and the welt um but once again you're just trying to hit every surface and you can kind of sense uh, when you've fully covered the boot and when it's about taking off all, all of the uh, wax that it wants to. So the benefit is you have sealed in the protective oils. Uh, the boot is going to be much more flexible. I have never had a boot crack on me um, using this method. They, they simply don't crack. They don't dry out. Um, and I probably perform this level of, of work about once every two years, if I really am, you know, if it's a work boot that I'm using virtually every day, then I'll do it once a season. But for most of my boots, uh, this uh, this method really lasts a long, long time. Um, so I'm kind of finishing up here, getting that welt an extra time uh, right along the edge. Um, making sure any place that seems vulnerable gets a little extra attention. So here we go. This is what I was talking about, the uh, little buffer. This is a Dremel buff buffer, just like the Dremel tools. Um, I first saw this from my grandfather way back in the 70s. Uh, before he'd go to work, he would put his shoes in there and shine them up. And I actually have two of these. I have one for work boots and one for dress shoes. Um, but... Uh, uh, it just helps uh, drive the product a little bit deeper, and I think it's a little bit more protective. Um, I picked this up on eBay, and it works absolutely fabulously. Actually, these are designed to just sit on the floor. There's a little button that you step on, and then, uh, you know, before you go out in your dress uh, uh, suit, uh, you just get a quick buff on your shoes. That's how it's... Uh, actually designed but for this case i'm just making sure that i'm getting every nook and cranny on my work boot it just makes it a lot easier it gets it kind of a quick buff and uh, and there you go you see the shine uh, it shows you how much uh wax is on the boot and how protected it is so here's a quick uh before and after of the boot um i think you i mean to me uh the before looks a little sickly a little dry and the leather uh that we just worked on looks uh uh more moisturized ready to go better protected uh more like what a boot should be so thanks for watching i'm going to put the products down below um i always encourage you to go right to the vendor and uh thank you very much uh have a great day bye bye